Okay, this is going to be about Jack Smith, uh, special counsel to prosecute Donald Trump, and this offshoot he's got looking into money laundering by Trump's uh, Save America PAC. So, I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And thanks very much for watching. Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So what could be better? I've got a, a short little uh, introduction into what this is all about. It'll just take a few minutes. There's lots of pictures. And, uh, and then we'll do a drawing on money laundering of political campaign funds donated through multiple different entities uh, by Donald Trump to pay for God knows what. So hang on. So Jack Smith is special counsel and he is aggressive. His first hires for this offshoot were J.P. Cooney, Raymond Holzer, David Harbach, uh, and those are trusted uh, colleagues of his, and then also Thomas P. Wyndham, who's a former federal, federal prosecutor and is on the leadership team. So. They are examining Save America, a pro-Trump political action committee which raises millions of dollars with false claims of election fraud to see um, how and why uh, Donald's vendors are paid. That's what the Jack Smith is looking into, to see how those vendors are paid from uh, Save America PAC. Now, Jack Smith uses a chain of command style like when he investigated war crimes in The Hague and when uh, leading the Justice Department's Public Integrity Unit back in 2010 to 2015, which investigates elected officials. He is focused on finishing before the 2024 uh, campaign gets going. Now, investigating the Save America PAC started before Jack Smith arrived. Trump vendors had been subpoenaed. They questioned how money was paid to vendors and if entities are used to hide who is being paid. Uh, Trump tore up documents, threw them in the toilets in the White House, and aides retrieved them, let them dry, taped them together, and pa passed them to the staff secretary to put back together and put in the archives. I've never seen anything like it, is what Chuck Rosenberg, a former federal prosecutor and FBI official, said of the cascade of Trump aides and lawyers becoming drawn into investigation. He says it's just a whirling dust cloud and everyone who gets near it gets covered in grime. Now, subpoenas by a different grand jury from the fake elector scheme are also focused on overlapping uh, subjects with this um, investigation and specifically Trump's Save America scheme uh, it has hoarded cash or paid firms and groups uh, helping Trump his businesses or to undermine enemies and it has brought in more than hundred and thirty five million dollars over thirty million dollars transferred from Trump's presidential campaign after the election and and has ninety nine million dollars uh, in the bank uh, a new subpoena from a formal federal prosecutor specializing in fraud looks into spending and funding fundraising at Trump's PAC, which paid more than $3.1 million to law firms and salaries of Trump aides, uh, plus four subpoena recipients who are Mr. Dolman, Mr. Russell, Mr. Luna, Mr. Harrison, and it paid Trump's lawyers, Christina Bob and Lindsey uh, Halligan. It paid Trump aide Stephen Miller and Tyler Budovich and Dan Scavino, who refused to comply with the subpoena. It donated a million dollars each to America First Policy Institute and the Conservative Partnership Institute, nonprofits that started and are run uh, partly by former Trump uh, administration officials. Now, Representative Zoe uh, Lofgren, Democrat of California, showed America Save a Save America PAC and Trump's campaign raised $250 million claiming widespread fraud when they knew there was none. A big ripoff. And then Trump's team appealed to donors 25 times a day to contribute to an election defense fund, but no fund existed. His campaign's digital director said the fund was just a marketing tool. 
Uh, Save America PAC redirected more than 200000 to Trump Hotel properties, and the company that organized the rally, organized the rally on January 6th received $8.7 million. Now, Lufgren said the fundraising is a grift. So here we go. Okay, here's the read. I'm gonna use this Golden Tarot by Cat Black. And if you hang on to the end of the reading, the very next thing you'll see is me talking about these cards. So if you're interested in them, you'll learn a little something about them there. Uh, I thought these would be great cards uh, for this reading. And I love them because I was introduced to them by one of my favorite psychics, uh, Psychic Violetta. And if you haven't looked at her, she's really great. She's a Canadian. Uh, uh, she's actually Polish, but lives in, in Canada and a very sweet lady. So Psychic Violetta. But anyway, uh, so um, to switch from a sweet person to an interesting person who's investigating a terrible person, let's talk about Jack Smith and his investigation into Donald Trump, but not so much regarding the January 6th um, insurrection. As a matter of fact, not at all regarding the January 6th insurrection, but more or completely actually regarding uh, what he might be looking into as far as um, uh, money laundering. So apparently, I thought I saw an upside down card in here and I just don't like upside down cards. So, um, so apparently uh, he's got an offshoot uh, who is looking into uh, possible uh, money laundering. And it seems that what's happened is it looks like Trump has had uh, the donors are donating to his Save America PAC, Political Action Committee PAC. And um, it just kills me because I know people who don't have much money and they're sending in $5, $10, $20 of money that they could use to feed their families and they're sending in because they think they're saving, um, they do think they're saving America. But to have that skewed vision of that this horrible person, I, I just don't understand. But anyway, so um, this will be um, the um, money laundering by Donald Trump in the Save America Pack, then apparently it gets filtered through several other LLCs, which the Save America Pack will pay one of them, they'll pay somebody else, and then finally, uh, after that time, or maybe another time, it gets paid to somebody, his lawyers, um, or just to pay for hotels, or, you know, just things that aren't what the people who are sending the money think it's going to, I would guess. I would guess. Maybe some of these folks believe that their money is uh, supporting a noble cause. Um, I hope that's what they believe, but I hope that they learn something different. I just hate to think that there are people sending in money knowing that it's going to a cause that's not noble and want the money to, to be spent uh, in a poor way to bring down the government, really. So what is going on? Let's ask the cards. Um, a quick question, but, but you know, I almost forgot. Let's do a little, just a moment of meditation first. Okay. Okay, so we're going to ask um, two or three questions with just a, a couple of cards, and then we'll do a six-card uh, layout about this whole situation. So Jack Smith, let's, let's see concretely, is Jack Smith looking into um, campaign finance fraud regarding Donald Trump? Three cards. One, two, I feel like sometimes these preliminary short pulls kind of get us primed for the larger uh, cards. So the first thing we have here is the Queen of Wands. You know, looking at this, I just feel like this is representing Jack Smith. I mean, you can't always associate the sex that's represented on the card, Queen, with the person that you're um, divining about. But uh, Queen of Wands, the Queen, the Queen of Wands, Wands are actions, plans, forward movement, and the Queen of Wands represent a really strong uh, action, a strong plan, strong forward movement uh, regarding that. And you can see that this Queen is holding a wand with a little bit of a sprout on it right here. And she's looking very determined. Next card 
is he uh, investigating regarding finance fraud, Donald Trump? Five of Swords, which is an abuse of power. So far, it looks like he is. And then the last card is the Eight of Swords, feeling trapped, feeling pinned in. The thing about the Eight of Swords, and you know, Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law, the thing about the Eight of Swords is that this person may feel like they're kind of hemmed in, but they're really not. They can sh 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 um, shirk loose of those, uh, those binds and move forward uh, in their journey. And so this could be the feeling that uh, Jack Smith and his investigators have regarding this. So is he looking to finance fraud? This I would say he is. Uh, actions forward in the strength of a queen, uh, looking at an abuse of power, and then feeling kind of hemmed in. Um, so yeah. there we go. Now, let's see. So will Jack Smith's investigation into Donald Trump's uh, finance fraud um, endanger some of the people who are helping Trump with his finance fraud? Will his investigation um, endanger uh, with the law some of those people who are, um, you know, associated with that finance fraud. Three cards again. Okay, one, two, and like I said, if you have, well, first of all, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It's a huge help to me. And then, um, and it's free. It's hard, not hard to do. Just subscribe. Half of you watching aren't subscribed, and you just wouldn't believe the difference it makes for someone like me uh, to keep doing this. But anyway, um, so, and if you want to know more about these cards at the end of the video, I'll tell you more. So, are they going to be endangered? These people who are getting uh, caught up in his investigation, are they going to be in legal uh, jeopardy? King of Coins. Wow. Okay. So, uh, this is going to cost somebody some money. Coins are money or value. And I think we're talking about money here. We're talking about finance fraud. Next card, moving out of troubled water. I wonder if this could mean uh, swords uh, is the six of swords, truth, justice, rules, and law. Moving out of troubled water. I wonder if some of those people won't uh, move out of troubled water by moving on to the side of justice and spilling what they know about that uh, scheme. And last card is the King of Wands. So that Queen of Wands we started out with on the last pull has now moved up to a King and he is determined. Wands are actions, plans, forward movement. Wands are fire. And if that Queen was determined, look at the face of this King. He's not happy at what has been done. So uh, yeah, they're going to uh, flip. They're going to provide uh, information. Um, the last uh, pull for this before we do the six card uh, spread is a uh, Will Donald Trump see some uh, legal jeopardy and not because of the insurrection on this in this situation but in this situation because of the finance fraud that is um, better defined by Jack Smith's uh, investigative teams so will Donald Smith face legal jeopardy because of this finance fraud that's um, being uncovered by Jack Smith's uh, investigative teams. Three cards again. Okay, one, two, three. Donald Trump, are you going to have legal price to pay because of the way you've swindled these people, this grift? Wow. Ten of Swords, Truth, Justice, Rules of Law, and the complete end of a cycle. This person is stabbed to death with Ten Swords. And there's a, a wolf, it looks like, ready to pounce. That's Jack Smith. He's got a clear path down, and he's getting ready to take it. First paw is on the first step. Six of Wands is the victory card. This is Jack Smith. And the Lovers, a perfect pairing, Major Arcana, these are the people who decided to come over to the side of justice and uh, help uh, bring Trump down. Yeah, Donald Trump will uh, suffer legal consequences for this. It's very clear. Wow. That's spooky. So now we'll do six cards to see just what the cards can tell us about this 
arm of that investigation into Donald Trump uh, and that's only regarding the f uh, campaign finance fraud. Okay? Uh, only about the campaign finance fraud. Six cards. One, two, three, four, five. You know, I watch YouTube just like you do. I've got my favorite uh, little programs that I watch. And most of them are by normal folks like me. I don't know if you can say I'm normal here. I'm a tarot card reader. But uh, but regular folks, I, I guess I could say. And um, and I try to support them. I click the like bell when I can. I don't donate to anybody. Um, but I do, and I don't ask anyone to donate to me, by the way. Um, just to subscribe if you can. It helps. So the signifier card for... Um, Jack Smith's investigation into finance fraud regarding Donald Trump. Okay, oh wow. So the first card up is a seven of coins, and this is that fruitful tree with all that bounty, and the person wondering, have I done enough? Is there more I can do? Can I start to harvest some of this? Could I harvest more than I thought I could? So the signifier card is having a bounty to decide what you're going to pluck from. That's the signifier. Wow. Wow. The uh, challenge to that then is this Nine of Cups. This is the greedy merchant. Wow. So this is someone who's ready to display all their uh, emotional trophies up here. And so for me, this represents for me, Jack Smith uh, being uh, glad to uh, display everything that he's found out. The basis of this then is the Ten of Cups, which is generational um, emotional uh, value and um, so for me I think that the results of this investigation on this finance fraud is going to provide for the country a generational uh, emotional um, uh, worth past of this reading the Empress Wow is just fruitful so this is in the past so I think they've got lots of, of uh, a bounty of information that they can use uh, in this uh, prosecution. In the sky of this reading, wow, the Queen of Wands comes back. So this is that determined uh, feminine power that is behind uh, this investigation um, of, of making this action happen. Wow. You know, mom knows everything. Uh, you can't get anything past mom. And then the final card uh, for this uh, part of this draw is death, which is the end of a cycle. And I think this is showing us that there's going to be a very definite finalizing result for certainly at least this arm of that investigation. I'm not going to do more cards. This is very clear. It couldn't be clearer. I'll read it again, though. So uh, I asked the cards to tell us what they could about this investigation that Jack Smith is having. This little piece of that investigation, not about the insurrection, but about the finance fraud. And it says right here uh, that uh, he's got a bounty to choose from. He just has to decide, uh, should he uh, pick some more or has he picked enough? The um, challenge to that then is, in fact, maybe his pride in wanting to show off, uh, you know, that emo what he's he's able to have accomplished and this fellow has been a prosecutor of war crime criminals uh, the base of this reading then is the ten of cups which is for me a generational uh, bounty of emotional um, goods the past of this reading is the empress which is almost mother nature it's, it's so much there that you know if you got the Empress on your side, you're not going to be hungry. You're not going to want. She's going to take care of you. And this is in the past. So all this bounty has already been, uh, it's already, because so he's only been involved about three months or so, has already been uh, discovered. In the sky of this with this Queen of Wands takes us back to the very first card I pulled. This is Jack Smith, and this is the Queen of Wands. A lot of power, a lot of actions, ready. And then the final outcome with this death card, this is the end for um, for that, for Trump. Um, uh, he's going to get nailed on this. That's what I feel. But what do I know? So I hope you like the reading.
Well, I hope that was a fun ride. I hope you agreed with what I said. And just remember that if you tell me what you want me to read on, I'll read on that. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So this is one of my favorite decks, Golden Tarot by Cat Black, who's an Australian uh, artist. And this is uh, all digital here. Um, I love this box. I mean, look how special it is. And, and it's easy to get the stuff out and use it. I mean, it's like a little uh, presentation. There's no fumbling at all. So, except when I use it. Now, the booklet is pretty good, too. It's, Cat Black has written this, it seems like, and so there's a good explanation in the front as to her concept for the artwork, which is amazing. It's usually, it's about from the 12 to the 1500s, which she uses in here, which is like cut and paste digital artwork. And then in the back, it talks about her, and uh, she's a webmaster, an author, an artist, and she also, she actually lives in uh, Western Australia uh, with her cat, Ellie, by the way. So, and I love uh, my uh, tarot reader, Ellie uh, Dreams Down Under. So she'd be tickled to know this, I think. Uh, so anyway, let's look at the cards. Um, my other favorite uh, uh, reader, uh, Violetta, uses these cards exclusively. They're the only cards she'll use. So there you go. They're beautiful, though. And they're not hard to handle. They're a little slicky. And when they're new, they're very gilded on the edge. And then as you use them, of course, that starts wearing off, which is sad. But um, but they're beautiful, they're easy to read, they're right or white uh, iconography, and you can figure out what the card means without any uh, problem whatsoever. And I actually read that Cat Black, the artist, uh, got her first tarot cards when she was 15. So, you know, she's someone who designed it uh, with, uh, you know, practical knowledge uh, at hand, not just commissioned to do the art, I think. So, anyway, I love these. I hope this is interesting for some of you. Uh, to look at the different cards when I do this. And uh, it's a good way to mix them up. And uh, so there we go. We'll get this uh, game going here. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again. So ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.